Oh, hello. Uh, greetings, salutations, and uh, hello. I am your host, Video Vomit. Sorry, guys. I'm, uh, I'm a bit in a uh, post-Halloween depression right now, so I'm drowning my complete sorrows in uh, the new Mario game. Uh, so, uh, there's not a whole lot to do down here, and you just play with antiques the whole time. So, um, uh, it's been a while since I did a uh, Vinyl Variations, so I thought that now that I actually um, have enough stuff to show you guys that I've gotten recently, and um, in honor of me going to DesignerCon next week, um, that's right, I am going, leaving the bunker. Uh, next week I'll be going to DesignerCon in Pasadena, and um, I'll just be, you know, I'll be selling some uh, cool stuff that I'll be showing you at the end of the episode. And, um, yeah, I'll just be hanging out with uh, some fellow toy makers and uh, designers and stuff. Uh, this is my first time going, so I'm actually very excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wide-eyed, young, aspirational art artist. I can't wait to get my soul crushed. Um, so, yeah, let's just uh, jump right in. Uh, uh, let's do uh, Vinyl Variations Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh... Yeah, uh, let's uh, get some of the first toys I got. Um, so right here we got some small ones right off the bat, and um, also just like in my true fashion, I am going completely against the grain, and these aren't vinyl at all. These are, I thought they were resin at first, but they actually feel a little bit softer than that. Um, they feel like some kind of uh, um, like rubber, almost like a super hard rubber. Um, but these are from, uh, it's Retroband, Deadly Delivery, The Last Sectron, and uh, Vilesaur. Um, these are, are like Maba Zombie style. Remember uh, last week's episode we did we covered some Maba Zombies. So these are, or not last week, the, the Slime Toy episode. So um, we also talked about last week uh, a uh, Halloween 3, uh, the, the sequel to the Halloween franchise. Um, and uh, so these figures here are actually based on the Don Post uh, Halloween masks from that movie. So we actually, uh, there's uh, some header card art that we have here that's really, really cool from Deadly Delivery. Uh, it's for the Pumpkin Boy, the Hag, and the Skull Kid. Um, and uh, yeah, so so the witch is really, really cool. Um, it's, uh, it's, you know, she's got a really great sculpt, um, looks just like that mask, um, has, has that really cool um, uh, hood and, and a little bag full of maggots. Um, and then we got the, the Skull Kid, um, and he's really, really cool too. I really like his sculpt. Uh, these, are, this is like in the point in the movie where where it's the big giveaway at nine, and and uh, and ev all the masks are are melting the children's heads. Um, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, refer to the episode last week, um, Halloween list, or uh, or go watch Halloween three and, and find out. Um, and then finally, the most iconic I would think out of the three is this really, really cute uh, little uh, pumpkin head boy. And uh, he's got the snakes and all that jazz coming out of his head. Uh, really, 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 really cute. Um, so yeah, uh, this was only available uh, during, uh, I think it was like uh, last week, or the week before that, I think. And it was only available like on Halloween and, um, not on Halloween, but like on uh, only a certain day. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was very, 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 very cool. I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to grab these. Um, and yeah, uh, keep an eye out for uh, Deadly Delivery, Retro Band, um, Vilesaur and the Last Zectron, keep an eye out for any of the new stuff that they might have coming out uh, soon. Um, if you hear a pounding, that's actually mole people trying to get into the bunker. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, the doors are very secure. So, uh, so we're, we're all safe here. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll move on to actual vinyl toys now. But I just thought because, you know, I've got those Halloween blues, I thought that this would be a cool little, uh, little extra thing to show you guys. Um, be just because they're so cool and I really like them and I love the Mob of Zombies. I love Halloween 3. Um, so yeah, what's not to love? What's not to love? Um, so, our next uh, little toy is a, uh, a toy um, made by Longneck. Um, this is the Dempagon. Um, Dempagon, um, if I'm saying it wrong, uh, you can feel free to correct me in the comments or, or uh, message me on Instagram, tell me how big of an idiot I am. Uh, totally cool. Um, this was made by Longneck. Um, he's very, very, very interesting design. Um, he's like uh, uh, TVs and monitors kind of st stacked up on, on top of one another. And then he's even got the, uh, the Tokyo Tower here as one arm. And then it looks like an uh, electrical uh, plug for the other arm. And he's got like stuff coming out of his screen here on the top. Uh, we got some, you know, uh, it's very, very, very interesting um, aesthetic, um, very interesting uh, style. Uh, for for uh, vinyl toys and uh, this Safubi in general. 
Um, Longneck is kind of uh, more well known for his uh, designs and, and, and like the how, how kind of uh, goofy they are. Uh, I think his most popular one is probably the uh, Uzit that he designed. Um, and uh, so I'm not like too familiar, too uh, well versed in um, long neck stuff, but uh, but yeah, this is really cool. I just got him in a trade um, with a fellow friend uh, from Instagram, so I'm happy to have this because it fits kind of like that whole like video vomit aesthetic. Wow, uh, old Tumblr, <laughs> uh, you know, it has it, it just that it kind of fits my style with like the retro TV VHS kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, I, I I haven't painted them yet. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this one. So um, yeah, I just want to show him off. Uh, very very cool. I really like this. You can follow him at uh, Yoda Mashiko uh, on Instagram. Um, definitely uh, give him a follow. And uh, yeah, um, I just love all of the like. There's a keyboard on his back. There's some like uh, fans or like the from the old tube television. Not fans or like something back there. You know, like it's very uh, reminiscent of old. Um, CRTs and, and, and like uh, glass screen televisions and, and monitors and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of like a like a like a, a heaping uh, pile of uh, old electronics that came to life and uh, is now attacking. So that's very very cool. I really like this guy. Um, so yeah, definitely check out uh, that Instagram. Um, and uh, moving along, we got another one. Um, this is from uh, Gums Productions. Uh, you can follow them on. Um, at uh, Gums Productions on Instagram. And uh, also you can follow Acid Rain World on Instagram because this is the uh, toy line that it's from. But this is, I, I, in my uh, Designer Toys uh, action figures uh, episode, um, I not only sound like a robot, but I, um, uh, we did a bunch of Acid Rain figures in there. Um, but uh, this one's actually a vinyl toy, uh, Safubi. And uh, so I thought that was really cool. So I had to get this guy. His name's Commander Jim Jim. Um, and, uh, and he's, re I really like him. I got, I got his, uh, header card art here too. Um, and we'll go down here and look at it. Uh, really, really cool. I really like that. It's definitely, if you guys know my colorways, color art, um, the, th the color as I am into, this is definitely up my aisle. Um, so yeah, uh, dancing in the gal, uh, in the galaxy, um, Commander Jim Jim. What, what a cool, uh, yeah. So this is, uh, I haven't really shown header card art a whole lot. Um, but I'll try to do that a little bit more. Um, header cards are usually like the things that are stapled on top of the bag that the toy comes in. Um, it, it's kind of like a traditional thing, like a way of, you know, at first it was like more of like a convenience thing, and now it's kind of just like kind of carrying the torch for the for the way that the toys are packaged. Other people do different things like boxes or, you know, pla uh, plastic containers sometimes and stuff, but uh, you can't beat a good old-fashioned header card. Um, so, yeah, very, very cool. Um, and I thought I wanted to show off uh, some of the features of Jim Jim. He's, uh, he's this really cool, bright, uh, neon pink vinyl, and he just looks awesome. Um, it kind of makes me want to paint uh, this Jim Jim like, um, kind of like the uh, header card art. I thought that would actually be kind of a cool idea. And um, one of the coolest things about Jim Jim here is that you can take off his uh, acid rain helmet, um, his little goggles and gas mask and helmet, and uh, you can see his uh, zombified, uh, grody-looking face underneath there. Um, yeah, uh, blanks always have a hard time showing up on uh, camera, but uh, this is not too bad. So, yeah, he's got a zombified face. Is is a really cool foot stamp on this one. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, just very cool. I really like this guy. Um, def if you wanted to uh, get one of these yourself, there's the pink one and there's a green one on um, uh, shopgumsproductions.com. Uh, you can get them both in the same thing or you can get them individually. So yeah, check them out, follow them on Instagram uh, if, you're really, if you're into this. Um, but then also, um, Acid Rain, uh, I order a lot of my Acid Rain stuff from uh, bigbadtoystore.com and uh, I, before this episode I was putting it together and uh, I got a little ring at the bunker doorbell and um, one of our uh, mutant uh, <laughs> mailmen, I'm trying to make shit up as I go, uh, <laughs> mutant mailman left, uh, left a little box for me. And so this is really cool. This is their uh, Acid Rain World's um, tiny figures. I got a little glare there. This is, their, um, this is their smaller, I think it has the scale on here, so 128 scale. So these guys are actually really tiny. Um, so I'm going to open it up. 
and um, and we got I got uh, them already uh, out of the plastic and uh, and uh, ready to go. So these guys are very very tiny, as you can see. Look at G compared to Jim Jim, <laughs> uh, Daddy. <laughs> so these guys are really cool. Um, if you if you're into that like whole like little tiny army men kind of uh, aesthetic, and you uh, you know it's even cool to kind of put them alongside of your kaiju because or Safubi because you know like uh, you gotta have those military guys you gotta have someone defending the cities that are being destroyed by all these kaiju um, so they're really cool they're very articulated um, almost as articulated I would say just as much articulated um, they even like bend at the they even have a little ab crunch um, uh, knee and ankle joints um, elbow uh, bicep wrist joints uh, ball joints at the head um, these guys are very articulated and for being so teeny tiny, that's really cool. Um, think of it, think of them as like the taller versions of those like uh, Lego knockoff mega blocks. You know, like they, they've been doing like uh, like uh, Call of Duty crap and like all that stuff. Um, these guys are a little bit taller than that. Um, but yeah, very cool. So Acid Rain is, is really uh, kicking some ass with like how cool their figures are and like what they want to do. Um, so this wasn't too expensive. This was like 40 bucks for these. This is kind of like a booster pack to like um, to uh, expand your army of, of little soldiers. Um, and much like the, the larger versions of the Acid Rain figures, they have vehicles and stuff. So um, there are vehicles and, and like mechs and stuff for, for this size. So uh, that's actually really cool that, that there's like more, you know, tinier end. So I, I'm actually kind of digging these a little bit more than the, than the, the regular sized um, Acid Rain figures. Um, but that uh, brings me to... I have another little acid rain figure in here. Um, I, I took both. I put I put both boxes in here. So um, uh, before we move on to the next stuff, this is uh, the reborn trooper. Um, this is the standard size um, acid rain figure, and this came in the mail along with my uh, little figures. Um, I, in the designer toy episode, I talked about uh, acid rain and, and all that stuff. So if you're not familiar with acid rain, Go back, watch that episode with the horrible audio, and uh, you can and you can uh, and and learn all about Acid Rain. Um, but this one, uh, this one's really cool. Uh, the Reborn Soldier. Um, he's actually larger than the other figures, um, uh, quite a bit taller. I would have brought one for for uh, scale, but um, they're all kind of packed away right now. But yeah, very very cool. Um, he's kind of like the armored juggernaut type of figure. Um, his uh, chest thing is removable, as you see here, because it's not. Um, in the box and um, uh, so you can see his like undead flesh underneath there you can take his helmet off um, these are extremely well painted extremely well designed um, it has that very like uh, post-apocalyptic uh, you know uh, the horrible depressing never-ending war kind of vibe um, and and these guys are kind of like the Frankenstein soldiers um, of the of the army you know they're kind of like undead guys brought back to life uh, to, to fight the wars for them so interesting concept for Acid Rain. Um, they're definitely taking, uh, you know, a new approach to the design of their figures. You know, they're getting, you know, heavier into like new designs and stuff, which is really cool. Um, it seems like they always have something new coming out. So um, yeah, if you're not familiar with uh, Acid Rain, definitely check them out because they're really, really cool. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, I showed you three different kinds of stuff that Acid Rain is offering right now. You know, you got your Gums Production Safubi. You got your mini little uh, tiny guys, and then you got your regular G.I. Joe-esque kind of sized uh, figures as well. So, um, you know, they kind of uh, hit in all the bases for all the kinds of different um, designers and collectors and stuff. So, um, you know, unless you just really hate army guys, <laughs> you really hate post-apocalyptic stuff, which is very popular right now, um, I think that they would probably have something for you. All right, moving along. Um, next up is uh, the Kalaka Toys Shogun Warlord. So, this guy is really cool. Kalaka Toys, a buddy of mine on Instagram. Um, I hit him up because I really wanted one of his toys. And uh, luckily enough, he, was, he had some for sale at the moment. So, um, we'll go down here. So, um, if you're a Dungeons & Dragons Advanced fan, uh, this guy might look pretty familiar to you. So, um... This is inspired by both Dungeons and Dragons and Shogun Warriors. Um, think of it as kind of like a uh, 
like a like a like a bash, like two two like two of them mashed together. You know, I, I for some reason I can't formulate words right now, but I, I brought my original Dungeons and Dragons Advanced uh, War Duke figure here, and uh, yeah, clearly he is a, he is very inspired by him. Um, I love War Duke. Uh, so many people love War Duke. Um, I have a custom uh, He-Man style figure of him that uh, I'll, we'll do one day for, for a customs video or like a He-Man video or something like that. Just got to think of where <laughs> the proper place to put all my toys are in w which episode. But um, yeah, so I, want, I just wanted to show you that uh, where, where the, where the uh, inspiration for this guy came from. The sword, the shield, even the shield kind of has a similar, you know, horned skull design. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just thought that that was really, really cool. Dungeons and Dragons um, advanced a uh, t very, uh, I, I, I would say it's, it's popular, but um, it's also kind of less known, um, made by LJN in the 80s. This guy's 1983. So um, yeah, very cool. This is the wobbly legged G.I. Joe like uh, uh, legged version, um, but I still love this guy to death. Um, so when I saw the design for our uh, Shogun Warlord here, I absolutely loved it. Um, so this guy is um, made in, um, I believe, Argentina. I could be wrong. Uh, uh, if I am, uh, please shout at me if I am uh, so, so we can get the right information out there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is. Um, but yeah, so this guy is a little bit uh, softer, gummier, rubberier than um, your average vinyl toy or Fubi. Um, but that's actually kind of cool. I actually, <laughs> I actually really enjoy uh, his like gumminess. Um, but yeah, he does have that um, very like simplistic kind of style um, for that the Shogun warriors had, um, which is actually kind of funny because uh, I have a Zengachi, my figure, my uh, Sufubi that I designed, um, and you put them next to each other, they actually kind of fit. Like they could actually be like fighting each other <laughs> or kissing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that that my kind of like with my design ideas and stuff I also kind of thought of Shogun wa uh, Warriors and was like what would be like a really cool villain or alien for them to fight or something like that what would be a cool anti-hero for the Shogun Warriors um, so this they actually fit really good and scale with each other they look good next to each other um, so that's why I really like this guy I mean not just because you know it fits with my toy but just because I really like uh, War Duke I really like uh, the Shogun Warriors so this is really cool. Um, uh, he will have some painted versions at Decon. So if you are going to Decon, Designer Con in Pasadena, um, you will have your chance to get one of these. So definitely be there or be uh, square, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to show him off because yeah, very cool, very cool. I really like him. Um, so yeah, uh, now we're gonna be moving on to another uh, figure that I've gotten recently. Um, these are on the smaller scale as well. I've been really digging um, like smaller Safubi lately. Um, I don't know what it is. It, usually, you know, you kind of want like the biggest Safubi that you can get. Um, but I don't know, for some reason, I've just been really uh, digging on little kind of smaller and scale vinyl toys. Um, so this is made by um, Mechanoise Toys. Um, this is the Black Ace. This is like the compact version. Um, so I have the red and blue versions here. Um, Got some glare, and eh, eh, oh, there we go. Uh, so, this art style for the box might look familiar. Hmm, uh, this is a lot like uh, the G.I. Joe packaging from the 80s. Um, and so, I'm gonna, these are actually resealable, so which is really cool. Um, I'm gonna take the blue one out because I like blue. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so this guy, it, uh, again, um, another kind of like Shogun Warriors inspired. Um, type of vinyl toy. Um, he does have a larger scale version. Mechanoise Toys does have a larger scale version of the Black Ace. Um, that was the first one available, um, which I have yet to get. Um, I am meaning to get one. And when I do, I'll bring it on the show. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I thought that these guys were really cool. I, again, I, I've been really digging on the, uh, on the smaller scaled vinyl figures as of late. So I really wanted to get these guys. Um, these come in uh, three different colors. Um, you can get them in uh, the blue, the red, and the silver. And right now, currently, you can get them on uh, mechnoisetoys.bigcartel.com. Uh, here we have the uh, website for it. 
Um, so yeah, uh, go over there if you really if you want one of these bad boys. They're not that expensive, so um, this is if you're kind of like you know you're like looking to treat yourself a little bit. Uh, this might be the the nice little surprise in the mail that you're looking for. Um, you can also f follow Mechanoise Toys on Instagram at Mechanoise Toys um, and underscore between Mechanoise and um, toys. Um, for all the uh, Instagrams and uh, all the websites, uh, we'll put those in the description, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, if you see something you like, um, you can always uh, go to our description um, and, uh, and and go there and buy some buy some stuff. Support these artists because that's kind of what it's all about. Um, yeah, so I, I really like these. This kind of has like an industrial kind of like American you know uh, aesthetic to the uh, Shogun Warriors. You know, like a lot of rivets and and bolts and stuff like that, so that's cool. Um, I will paint these guys, I just don't know what colorway I wanna do yet. I, I wanna involve the, the vinyl on these guys in some way, so yeah, um, definitely, gonna, definitely gonna think about that. I got lots of new paints, so I got some you know washes and, and all kinds of stuff, so I have lots of paints that I'm like really excited to try out, so um, I have so much, so much blank stuff now that, 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 that it's possible for me to, uh, to do stuff like that. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot to, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going through these fast. I forgot to show off the Shogun Warlord um, uh, header card there, um, but there it is. <laughs> um, and then before I forget uh, on these, um, Mechanoise Toys sent me these really cool uh, giant plane cards. Um, with uh, with the with the um, black ace on there, so I thought that was really cool. These are really awesome. Uh, man, if Gambit had these, things in the X Men would be way different. <laughs> it's just just tossing these giant cards. Um, yeah. Uh, so um, and now, like I said, I've really been digging on the little stuff. Um, so I wanted to give uh, Science Patrols a shout out. My friend Corey on Instagram. Um, you can follow him at Science Patrols. Um, underscore between science and patrols. Again, I'll have all this stuff in the description. Um, you ca I have one of his little figures here named Husk. So this is a little uh, Zakata-like inspired Safubi. Very, very tiny, but very cute. Um, he is a marbled white and pink, um, and just so adorable. Um, he kind of, it's like kind of funky because it's like he doesn't really like, you know, there isn't like really a way to display him. It's kind of like whatever your creativity, you know, hang him on something. He's got these little, little nubules, you know, hang him on something. But yeah, just super cute. I love, love, love this stuff. Um, I got him from the Soft Vinyl Mayhem um, uh, uh, release. Um, it was for a show um, and then they sold some stuff online. I got a t-shirt and I bought one of these little husks. Um, you can all, uh, go on Science Patrol's Store Envy, that's sciencepatrol.storeenvy.com. There it is right there. He's got tons of cute little awesome stuff on there. Um, his designs are really interesting. Uh, Corey is a really awesome dude. He helped me out um, with my toy when it seemed like no one else would. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a, a, hitch a, a patch on the back there. and. Uh, and thank you for being such an awesome dude. And thank you for making awesome toys. Go out and support Corey and support Science Patrols. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show that, give him a little name drop, give him, give him a little shout out. Um, so uh, we're, 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 we're running down the list here. We're getting to the big stuff now. So now I have this Gid guy right here, a glow in the dark. This is one of the bigger guys. Um, this is um, Gangrenous. This is from a rare form. Um, you can follow a, a rare form on Instagram, uh, underscore in between each word. And uh, it, underscore is really popular this year. Maybe I should change video underscore vomit. What do you guys think? No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Just leave, leave it simple, leave it easy to, for people to find me. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, this is Gangrenous. He is awesome. I uh, caught that uh, a rare form was uh, was um, selling some of these on his Instagram. Um, he does have a store. Um, it is uh, a rareform.bigcartel.com. Um, there isn't really anything up there. I, I think that might be sold. That one figure up there might be sold out. But um, he usually does have some some um, 
you know, uh, he'll be doing stuff all the time, be, be selling stuff. And so um, you can always catch him if you follow him on Instagram. You might be able to, you know, catch one of these releases. That's kind of like the whole point. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on their Facebook, follow them on uh, their websites or blogs or something like that because you got to be following them if you, you got to. You just got to if you want to get the good stuff. Okay, so um, he is a glow in the dark uh, cast in a glow in the dark vinyl. Um, the texture on this guy is insane. Um, uh, he's a little hard to show up on the cameras, but uh, it's all uh, texturized. You got these really, really awesome, um, like uh, like holes and and cords wrapping all around him. Um, and uh, and yeah, so he he just has this like like a peeled back face and um, just absolutely insane looking design. This is like you know Gorehound's dream because this is like so gross looking, um, so. So sick looking. Um, but yeah, uh, he's got this for Safubi. He's got some pretty good articulation. Um, he does have um, uh, you know swivels at the wrists, um, swivels at his weird tendril tentacle thing, and then he's got um, leg articulation and head articulation. Um, this guy is pretty pretty cool. Oh yeah, he shows up better on here. Um, yeah, so look at that. Just just a really 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 cool figure, and you can even see. His, uh, his awesome face sculpt there with his teeth. Um, this is just a really awesome figure. I cannot wait to paint this guy. I've held off for a really long time on painting him just because I want to get this paint on him right. You know, uh, I usually do bright, vibrant colors and stuff, but something uh, deep within my dark, tortured soul is telling me that I should do something kind of gory looking or, you know, something like that. So. Uh, maybe the next time that you see this guy, he will look completely different. I'll try to do that more where I'll paint something, you know, and then I, or, or you can see it blank and then I'll paint something and bring it on um, until that we figure out some way to do like a painting video where, um, you know, well, well, we'll bring out, we'll, we'll go somewhere safe for me to paint because the paints are, you know, hazardous and toxic, you know, for, for, for normal uh, humans. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, until then, you know, uh, well, I'll just try and do the befores, afters kind of sort of thing until we can figure out how a uh, safe way to do the painting videos. Um, but yeah, uh, j definitely check out A Rare Form on Instagram. T check him out on his Big Cartel um, if you want to get a gangrenous because, man, what a cool figure. Oh, I, I thought I'd uh, share the, uh, the, uh, uh, the awesome foot stamp on here. It says, uh, pardon the F-bomb, everybody. Close your ears, children. It says, fuck Trump. So... Uh, uh, so yeah, <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, earmuffs off, children. It's okay now. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, now this brings us to our last um, headlining figure of the day, and um, this is a recent drop from uh, Skinner. Um, you can follow uh, Skinner at the Art of Skinner on Instagram, and uh, you can also go on his website, which is theartofskinner.com. Um, he's got some really, really awesome stuff up there. Um, a really cool uh, Necronomicon book that he's, it's like a pop-up book that he has up for sale right now. Um, he's got some mugs and chalices and, and all kinds of goodies. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, really cool guy, um, very inspirational. Um, he has his own little art show um, on Super Deluxe that you can go check out. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's, uh, let's get into the toy. Um, so this was a black blank release. This is the, uh, Stone Spirit Titan. Um, so, uh, you, uh, obviously he's not a black blank anymore. Um, when I got him, uh, he was the, uh, the blank. And, um, and I, so I wanted, I was like, I knew that this video was coming up. So I was like, well, I should probably, most of these are blank, so I should probably paint something. <laughs> so I decided to paint the biggest one. Um, um, before I get into my paint, I wanted to throw a little shout out to um, Turtle Milk Studios. Um, he's the one who sculpted uh, this, and uh, what a great job. Really awesome. Um, so uh, this is actually an interesting piece because um, this is actually, these are both the same base. Um, the same uh, uh, bodies and legs, um, and you can see that, but, um, but they have uh, different hands and uh, they have different heads. So um, I think I've shown Ogos off in a previous um, episode, but uh, yeah, um, that's, this is the original one. Um, it was a green blank, um, and, 
I don't want him to fall. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so so Skinner's been doing some stuff recently. Um, you could see right above me. Can't get it right. Oh no, messing up everything. There we go. <laughs> Uh, right here, uh, I got some uh, heads from him a little while ago, um, but uh, this is a real victory. This is the Stone Spear Titan. Um, so I painted this one, um, and I also gave him like a cool cape and gave him like this weird loincloth thing. So uh, we'll go if we can go in. There we go. Uh, I really had a lot of fun with this guy. So um, I used my monster color paints, um, a lot of custom mixes. I use a lot of see-through paints. Um, what I did was I did a silver base for this guy, and then I went over with um, some grape ape metallic paints for his skin. Um, a mixture of sprays like blue and teal and green see-throughs um, for the um, fur and hair and stuff, um, like on his feet here. Uh, you can see that. Um, and, uh, and then f one of my favorite parts um, is, the, is the gold. I did uh, like a regular gold paint um, but then I did a see-through yellow over it, and then I did a black uh, dry rub wash um, over the, uh, uh, a dry rub and wash are two different things, <laughs> but I did a dry rub on uh, all the gold pieces like his crown helmet here and stuff. Um, so one of the cooler features about um, him is that uh, he actually um, can uh, he has like three different faces so 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 we'll we'll go over the, he's got this like one with one eye um, really messed up and he's got like this really really cool um, uh, crown and like it's like a castle and stuff but um, let's uh, let's spin it and then he's got this other head and I tried to do all the eyes like different colors um, to kind of give them different personalities I love it he's got like this cool like ruby skulled you know, uh, a thing on the top here, just incredible um, sculptural details. And then this last one who's like more like golem-like, he's got this big old hole in his head. Um, so yeah, I thought that this is really cool. Um, yeah, I just, I, I, I love all of Skinner's art. So um, whatever kind of like uh, toy that he has coming out or, or anything like that, I definitely want to jump on that like right away. Um, there's, uh, look at all that cool detail. Um, on the hand there, especially in the club here too. Uh, he's got some really, really cool um, details. Like there's faces, you know, all over the club, um, like twisting and turning and kind of pulling around. And um, yeah, just a epic, epic toy. Um, yeah, there we, there we go. Get a, get a, get a, get a big look at him. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I went out to Target and just bought some, um, some tablecloth type material. Um, and, I, and I just fixed him, uh, fixed him a little uh, cape. He looks like a king, um, so I had to, to, had to make him. He kind of reminds me of something from like Dark Souls a little bit. I love Dark Souls, and he kind of reminds me of like a really kick-ass boss from Dark Souls. Um, and uh, so one of the other things that I got from Skinner was he uh, gave us some awesome prints. Um, so uh, he gave us like a Stone Spirit Titan print as well. Um, yeah, just wow. Look at that. That's This is Skinner's style. Like, so if you don't know... Uh, who Skinner is, the skin daddy. Uh, you don't know who he is. Um, this is a good representation of his art. Um, this is the Stone Spear Titan, as you can see. Um, and then uh, on the bottom here, it says, I like you, <laughs> Skinner. Um, and then uh, we got another one. This one's like a, uh, like a double-sided, like a kind of really nice material. Um, and, wow, look at that. Just That is his style. It's, it's very like Jack Kirby. Um, acid trip, horrible, horrible acid trip <laughs> kind of style. Um, but yeah, like as you can see, like the backspace and the dots and like all that kind of stuff. Very, that it just reminds me so much of Jack Kirby. And Jack Kirby is is also another very huge inspiration to like like style for me and and form and stuff. So I thought that that that, that these are extremely extremely cool. I really want to get these framed um, and put up in the bunker somewhere. Um, for, for, for all of me and all my things to see. <laughs> all right, um, so after the Stone Spear Titan, I thought I would um, kind of uh, give everyone a little bit of a sneak peek into what I got going for Decon. Um, so um, I am just a guest there. I'm not like, you know, I didn't, I, I'm only gonna, you know, I'm only there for my first time. It's not like, you know, I'm not gonna blow it out of proportions or anything. Um, but um, I'll be hanging out with uh, True Tech, 
uh, the whole time um, for two days there. And, uh, and I just, you know, I wanted to do something. Um, so I painted some one-offs. Um, uh, one-offs being, you know, just some one-of-a-kind uh, painted piece. And, uh, and so I thought it would be uh, fun to bring them on here. Um, I'm doing uh, four or five, not really sure yet. Uh, depending on how, how well my fingers hold up, they've been cramping up a lot lately because I've been doing so much painting between, you know, uh, commissions, customs for myself, and, uh, and doing the, the, the latest run of Zingachi. But uh, enough bitching. Uh, I just, I, so here are two that I've, uh, that I've pretty much completed. I just got a, you know, final little touches, a little, you know, a little signature, got to do the, the final process. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so these are two uh, one-off Zingachis that I just painted, um, Dr. Z and the Vaporwave Zingachi. Um, so this is Dr. Z. Um, uh, I really had a lot of fun with him. Uh, it seems like uh, blood splatter and, and like that, that kind of thing on Safubi has been pretty popular lately. So, uh, you know, I haven't done it in a while, so I wanted to give it a try again. Um, and so I wanted to, to kind of have like a reason, you know, that, there, that there's so much uh, blood on my Zingachi. So, uh, that sounded weird. <laughs> so I decided to make him look like he's got like a doctor, kind of like he's like a space doctor, an alien doctor who does horrible, horrible things to human beings. Um, he abducts them and then experiments on them. So uh, I called him Dr. Z because he kind of looks like he's got some scrubs on there, like his little, his little gloves and his, and his pants and his little toesies. Um, and yeah, so I had a lot of fun with this. You know, uh, just picture me in my basement of the bunker uh, splattering red, bloody looking paint everywhere. And it just absolutely, my whole workspace looks like a murder scene now. So yeah, cool. Very, that works, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, just so so putting putting them next to each other, um, I'll talk to, I'll talk about vaporwaves and gotcha in a little bit. Um, but yeah, like so this is a great example of of what you can do with Safubi if you're if you're a painter, um, two completely different styles, um, but yet the same figure. So I was kind of reluctant because I was like, well, you know, my figure's so clean looking, he's so cartoony looking. Would it would that kind of fit? Um, the answer is yes because you know art is art is subjective. I'm sure one of you out there is like, man, that's dumb. Which is totally fine, um, but uh, you know I thought the contrast of him being like this cartoony, almost cutesy kind of uh, dude, um, and then having the blood all over him and stuff—that's actually kind of surreal, almost like it's like a horrible nightmare, you know, like a weird, you know, like a like a '90s cartoon that that children were not supposed to see or something like that. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. This has actually turned out to be my favorite one so far. Um, so Doctor Z will be hard to sell at Decon, but if you're there. Um, and you see, Dr. Z, you, this might be yours in the near future. So um, uh, think about it long and hard. <laughs> uh, please help me. <laughs> Support my art. Um, uh, and then finally, we have uh, uh, Vaporwave Zingachi. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just called him Vaporwave Zingachi because um, I'm really, really into Vaporwave music right now. Um, that like whole 90s kind of like uh, elevator <laughs> mall music kind of. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, that's kind of just the stuff I've been jamming while I've been painting a lot. Music is very inspirational to me, like when I'm painting. Uh, so, so I always like to have a good, um, a good playlist or something good, uh, inspiring in the background to kind of, uh, to kind of uh, inspire and set a mood for for what I, for when I'm painting. So, um, I I really like working with metallic paints. Um, uh, the big metallic painter guy in in the in the Safubi world is Guman. And uh, he is an incredible metallic painter. I will never get on his level, but uh, this is my attempt to somewhat kind of uh, um, an homage to the Guman style, if you will. Um, and so I, you know, kind of do try to do a little bit more brighter metallic colors rather than than something dark. So you know, I did the yellows and the pinks um, for the skins, uh, kind of uh, textured areas, and then I did like dark blues with greens um, and purple for the um for like the armor pieces and stuff um yeah so this has a really cool uh kind of uh like uh directional spray uh vibe to it um directional sprays is kind of like when you know you kind of go at it from a certain angle and spray it so then it kind of changes um it's it's kind of uh, look as you kind of like turn it or or look at it um, I kind of did that a lot within the legs here, you know, on the sides it's much more pink and then it kind of fades to that yellow, um, kind of on the toes here and stuff. I love doing that, like 
fading into colors. I, lo I love like like really smooth transitions and stuff that just, ooh, man, mm, magnificent. <laughs> so yeah, I just, uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Um, I just, you know, I gotta finish the teeth and the eyes and stuff. So um, if you're like, man, that looks sloppy, please don't yell at me because I, this is not finished. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just thought I had something good going on. So you know, I wanna show it off a little. Huh? What, what a big deal, huh? I wanna show it off. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, so that brings us to the end of our show today. Um, I uh, had fun. It was a little quick, little little snap, um, but uh, yeah. So next week I won't be here. Actually, next week uh, Thursday I will be on my way. I'll be leaving on my way in the plane, flying, zooming, going to get to Designer Con. Um, that is uh, the 11th and 12th, I believe. Yeah, I believe that is the correct uh, dates. God, I should know, shouldn't I? Um, uh, that's for my robot to my personal AI to, to figure out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just uh, uh, you know since next week I want to you know do a little hype and then maybe and then when I come back from Designer Con you know hopefully I'll have a ton of goodies with me so then we could do like a little video kind of uh, like oh well, everything I bought or everything I got so um, yeah so I'm excited as hell for Decon I'm nervous I have never been to something like this before with like more people in the kind of like uh, realm of our designer toys, you know. I've been to like, you know, some other, you know, like Chicago Comic-Con and stuff like that. Um, you know, like dipping my toes in the kiddie pools, if you will. Um, and I've met tons of great people and really awesome toy makers there, but this is kind of like the the mecca, you know. This is like the the real hub of, of, of everyone. And so a lot of people are gonna be there. A lot of toy designer people will be there. A lot, uh, maybe some of the people that I talked about today, almost positive some of the people I talked about today will be there having their own new, um, waves of, of their toy uh, out in new colorways and stuff. Um, lots of one-offs, so you know only, you only be able to get that there if you're at Designer Con. So that's really cool. Uh, much like my Zingachi figures. So um, yeah, I hope to make a lot of friends. Hope to, <laughs> to meet new people. Uh, that'd just be great uh, icing on, on the cake. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. If you like today's episode, uh, get, smash that like button. Um, hit the bell thing if you want, you know, you, you, you want to know if I'm going live or, or we're doing another video or if I randomly drop some previously recorded video like our Blade Runner 2049 review, which you can watch right now. Um, you can do that. Um, it'll let you know. Um, yeah, uh, we're kind of mainly focusing on YouTube right now. We were doing a little bit of stuff on Twitch, but we'll, we'll upload stuff to Twitch. Uh, but we're mainly doing stuff on YouTube now just because it's kind of easier for us that way. Um, so guys, until next time, see you later. Thank you so much.